G'day everyone, Jay here, Squiggle FPV. Uh, just here to do a quick review with the iFlight Cinev 75 HD. Now this thing here, it's pretty good for a Cinev, but when it comes to you know doing stuff acro or anything like that, not a very big fan of it. Um, you'll see in the flight videos. Um, it comes with the the 6E Sex stack which is a 16 amp, which has the um, 6X Micro F4, or the, if you're gonna go and uh, search on Betaflight for um, the firmware, it's under the Matec F411, I believe. Um, they retail for around 150 to 200 US dollars, and they run on two or 3S. Uh, I'm running it on 3S. And um, they come with 1103 10,000 kV motors, so plenty of, plenty of punch. And um, you know, if you're just you know playing around um, and not doing much at all, then um, yeah, you get some good flight times out of about four or five minutes. Um, it also has the audio control. They call it Smart Audio or Tramp Audio and all that sort of stuff. So you can change your VTX channel or your PIDs and all that sort of stuff uh, through your controller. So let's have a look at the up close, and we'll see how it flies. All right, here's the Cinebee in the box. Um, I've got the uh, FreeSky version with the RXSR. You can get the XM Plus. There's also DMX, and you can also get a version without anything and put your own flight, uh, receiver in there. All right, so you yeah, open the box up, and this is your little OSD for your CADEX. So you plug that in, and you can change all the settings on your uh, camera. Um, this is it here. You get some stickers really cool you can replace the stickers on the um, the ducts if you're really into that sort of thing um, these are the original battery straps that come with it they're just little double um, there's what three of them so you get two one on it and two spares that's pretty cool I changed it straight away I'm um, not a big fan of those ones there now these are your extra screws uh, there you get some motor screws and just uh, standard spare screws there we go um, and also these are the spare props you get now I did get the standard props and these are the standard props but first day of flying very brittle snapped all of it off so I basically snapped all the, all the prop blades off not much chop on that one now here's the little unit here I put some green gem fans on there. Um, I haven't put the screws in yet because they're really really tight fit, press fit. Um, and as you can see it comes with the RXSR, easy to um, easy to bind. You just uh, plug it in, turn your receiver to bind and then you press the button and your light should go green. Once it goes green you unplug it, plug it back in, fly it up. Well, get onto beta flight and hook everything up properly. Um, comes with the V2, the Cadex Turtle V2. And you got your sexy or success um, flight stack here. I think it's 16 amp um, from memory. Uh, nice little carbon fiber. It's really well made. I like this. As you can see, I've had it out. Yeah, giving it a good uh, testing, and um, it seems to fly all right. Yeah, we'll get onto that later in the wrap up. But here, well, this is where your board is that comes with the Cadex. Um, that's where your SD card goes, as you can see. There's a nice little clip there and you can pop it out. I've cut this little hole so you can get to the button because all the reviews that I'd seen, um, people said you had to press the button to turn it on. It seems that the new ones have come out there auto record and they're not limited to three minutes like I saw on one video as well. Uh, where they just stop recording after three minutes. This one, uh, I was getting five, six minute videos out of it. And it comes with the XT30, as you can see. Now you can put your little batteries on top. I'm using the, the GNB uh, 550s, and they just slot straight in like that. And you plug it in, and away you go. And they seem to give me you know, about four or five minutes flight time if I'm just cruising around doing uh, cinematic stuff. It's not real good. For, um, for your acro stuff I've found um, and when we get into the flight video in a second you'll see what I mean there's a lot of uh, your wash or your authority as some people call it 
um, and also one other strange thing I've never seen before flying these little micro whoops and stuff like that but we'll see that in a second so let's have a look at the flight videos and we'll um, we'll get onto that okay so here we are flying around um, I'm just uh, I'm using it in angle mode um, so I can get a nice flat picture um, I do fly it in acro when I go back into the um, doing obviously when I do acro mode but in angle it flies nice does nice pictures it's very very clear for something so small um, and yeah, I'm well impressed with the HD of this Cadex. Um, yeah, so it's definitely worth um, worth the money when you um, compare it to something like a DJI or something. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the acro side of things. And here we go. Um, all right, so give it a bit of a blast. Put some power on. There we go. We've got a little bit of what I was talking about with the flat spin. Um, but here we go, ready? What was that? Now, I'd really love to know what was going on there because, you know, you do a flat spin and here again and it just kicks sideways. And it's really surprising when you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, oh, but yeah, it just, just really caught me by surprise. Um, yeah, when you do slow your spins, it seems to be okay. It's only when you get up there and you wanna do a real quick one. Now, when we do a power loop, we go up, and as you come back down there, you can see it yours to the left. Um, in the next little clip, I do a really big um, punch out, get up some really good height, uh, do a big dive here, and then when I pull out, you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So, they're the two main things. So there you have it. Um, you saw the up close and the video, and like I said in the video, uh, the flight video it does some weird stuff when you do um, when you're doing acro but with like you saw with uh, just floating around doing cinematic stuff really really cool now I did do another video and it's on my channel um, where I damaged the blades and once they got out of out of balance um, I started to get jello so these are very very dependent on vibration to keep the jello away um, but when when everything's nice and, and balanced and, and running well, they do really do well. Um, but yeah, definitely not for acro. Like I started doing some really, yeah, for me, um, extreme stuff, which is not very extreme at all, just quietly. Um, and it was just, yeah, it had just like launch sideways when you're coming down out of a power loop or you go up and you just try and do um, like a, a flat spin or something and it did just kick sideways. So, and as I said, I've never experienced that on another quad or, or micro at all. You know? So it was really, really um, interesting for me as well. Now, I do recommend it if you like doing the cinematic stuff. Um, they're a really, really solid little unit. They are a little bit heavier than your standard unit, about 70 grams, something like that. I don't have any scales on me, so I can't check. Um, but yeah it the, the extra weight gives it nice flow when you're doing the slow-mo stuff like a little slower film, filming but yeah i've i've done you know a couple of videos for people with with this instead of using a dji and they've come out really nice especially when it's well balanced all in all uh, if you just want to do flying around and taking films and doing really you know photography type stuff then definitely definitely well worth it but if you want to get into something really, you know, where you can really, you know, smash it about and do some acro, um, I would definitely go something more along the lines of maybe the Mobula 7 or the Trash Can. Um, I've still got another one, a couple that I want to try out. The Diatone, um, that's an interesting one I had a go of. You know, they're, um, they're open prop, there are no ducks on them, but yeah that thing flew really well i was really impressed but we won't get onto that i'll get onto that later on um this one here um yeah not acro but definitely good for uh, cinematics um, so i hope you enjoyed this please uh like and subscribe down the bottom there um, i'll put all the links up for all this sort of stuff you know you can you can get the batteries or i'll do this and my controller and all the stuff i've used so um thank you for watching I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Keep flying.